Hi everyone, so in this video we are going to try to understand how the locomotion analysis can help you to object type the acceleration process of the horse and how it can also help to, to detect the natural aptitude of the horse for a specific distance. So what we need to take into account to analyze the locomotion is the speed of the horse. So if you compare a horse to another or one horse is with himself, you need to make sure to pick up uh, the same speed or to look at the maximum speed linked to the peak uh, straddling and stride frequency. So in the playback of the training, you will have always in the key data, the peak uh, straddling and stride frequency that you can see here. And we will also have some information on the graph uh, with the uh, straddling here and the stride frequency just here in orange. So for example, with this horse, we can see that during uh, his exercise is always increasing both straddling and stride frequency. So it means he's uh, still accelerating during, uh, during his work. And, uh, and so with a stride frequency at 2.36 stride per second, we can see that it is not a very high stride frequency. So it, go, it give a good indication uh, on, uh, on what type of distance the horse will perform the best. For example, with this type of stride frequency, uh, there is uh, there is uh, more chance that the horse will perform on the medium or long distance than uh, in a sprinter race because uh, it's very mechanical. But the highest the stride frequency is, the less time the horse is need to reach its maximum speed. At the opposite, the lower the stride frequency is, the longer the longer uh, time the horse is will need to reach its maximum speed. So we need some distance or some longer stride length. Um, stride line to, to reach its maximum speed. You will also find the stride data here in the sectional to see how the stride uh, is uh, evolving uh, during the exercise. Thank you. I hope this was clear and uh, we will get into more details in the next video.